Hey everyone, Sanjay here from Controver Podcast and you are listening to uh, Con Sign Show episode number 54. So today we are going to talk about how can you use other people's money and uh, leverage your own business. Other people's money in the sense uh, I'm not telling you to steal some money or uh, rob a bank. I'll tell you how it really works. Let's get started. When- <laughs> really learn a skill and you build a business around that that is how you build a business uh, before you learning a skill uh, uh, starting a business is something that is quite complicated or you just start a business and work for free so that you can uh, uh, what is it uh, build a skill and skills are something that you can practice skills are nothing but you practice 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 you will become an expert one fine day and let's say you have built a business as of now and now you just want to scale that business how do you know when should you start scaling i mean when should you start expanding that particular business and when should you start buying some money for that business as a debt to expand that particular business you know your business well so that you can understand when to buy debt each and every corner of your own business it's very important that you know each and everything in your business the marketing the sales the what is it uh, budgeting the finance the management the product manufacturing or the service manufacturing the uh, what is it digital marketing creating content for that everything that is required for your business you should try to do that and you should clearly understand what are the each and every corner of your business you know where your sellers are you know where your vendors are you know where your customers are you know where potential buyers are where that particular market for your product is completely available you understand that particular thing clearly and once you do that it's time for you to scale that particular business but remember scaling your particular business very quick might be a uh, what is it uh, very bad move for your entire business you might uh, really see tons of uh, business examples that really scaled a lot in a very short time period and uh, they are really going down or uh, went bankruptcy uh, for example you can consider micromax the uh, indian phone manufacturing company once they were ruling the indian ma- phone market and now where is that company no one knows and uh, you might uh, uh, remember this uh, company social networking called as uh, orkut yeah i was using it a lot uh, that was really interesting but they tried to scale up really a lot and they forget to uh, learn about some business basics and uh, now it's completely gone where did that go it's gone as of now so that is how even your business can happen so i highly recommend you guys to stay small until you feel like your business every everything about your business you completely know that as i said the customer sales all that it might take somewhere around 4 uh, to 5 years to know all this once that's being done you can start scaling up your business that is how many business uh, just started and that is how many business are uh, what is it uh, market leaders as of now you knew you know uh, why did why didn't uber suddenly enter to uber eats you clearly understand why ola didn't enter uh, for uh, the food business and uh, waited to enter into food business called as food panda you really understand why walmart didn't uh, purchase flipkart so soon why did they purchase flipkart now so it takes time you just have to understand that uh, that's quite important now that you know uh, that your business is completely profitable and you understand your business completely but you want to scale now how do you get the money for it it uh, you just scaling your business saying that within 5 years it will be a billion dollar company so you think you can invest everything that you have no that is where people go wrong if you just invest everything that you have one day you'll go bankruptcy that's the thing what you have to do is you just have to get money from someone else that might be bank that might be a debt from someone that might be changing your company or uh, publishing into ipos that is initial public offering or uh, listing it into stock market all that 
that's just the reason why uh, there are lots of rules if you want to register your company as an ipo uh, it doesn't mean uh, you have some money you can invest that you cannot invest millions of dollars or millions of rupees just to scale your business just to expand your business that's just a dumb thing the best reason the best thing or the best quote of today that i am going to tell you is you know when is the great or the best time to buy a debt when you really don't want that debt when you really don't want your business to expand but you feel like fine uh, uh, my product has lots of value so that it can serve more people and you feel like uh, you want to buy some debt so you don't really need a debt in that particular time but still you buy it why is because to expand your business when you really don't need a debt it's the right time to buy that i know it sounds stupid but this is really important for business this is how people are doing business and amazon uh, you might i might have uh, narrated this but amazon didn't even pay their shareholders for complete 6 years their shareholders had a uh, faith in amazon that uh, it would grow really a lot and apple uh, uh, what is it shareholders they didn't even get any shares not even a dollar out of their shares when they first invested on that particular uh, what is it company so but they had a confidence that this product or this company would boom out a lot it's not just uh, it's a bad money or it's a good money that uh, you really get from a uh, shareholder or uh, a debt is that a bad money or a good money there is only good investor or a bad investor where do you invest and at what time do you invest you just get into the bank if you just uh, make every transaction even if you take a dollar uh, even if you transact 1 dollar for someone else a vendor or a supplier or a customer make sure you do it through your bank uh, this is something that i have experienced personally in my business uh, i just wanted some loan or some debt that i wanted to expand my business i had uh, lots of transaction but 50% of my transaction not even 50 70% of my transaction was via cash but the bank said uh, it wasn't uh through the bank i mean through the account so make sure every transaction that you do in your business from day one try to do that via your one bank account it's very important that you do it in one particular bank account uh, that would be your current account of your company so make sure you do it and uh, that's it for this video guys uh, let me know your thoughts in your uh, in the comment section and uh, you can share this video to your friends uh, who have just started a business or if your uh, friends are willing to start a business make sure uh, you guys can check out my playlist uh, i hope uh, there are lots of valuable contents over there and only if you are committed drop a text and start a business uh, let me tell you there are tons of people who just watch my video and uh, they won't even take action uh, i hate them to be too so they won't even take action uh, just because my content is for free or just because i teach them about this these things that i am telling you are the experience that i have experienced in my particular business from past 5 years that's quite important and uh, yeah it's me sanjay signing off from contrar podcast let's discuss a lot about business let's convert your particular passion into business that is what i am here for we'll meet you in our next video bye bye